In this video, I'll show you how to make a Gantt chart with the progress bar in Excel. A Gantt chart is a bar chart which is used for illustrating tasks that are to be completed over time. To create our Gantt chart, the first step is to set up a project table. I've already added a list of tasks that need to be completed in our project and their start and end dates. The next step is to calculate the duration of each task. This is simply the end date minus the start date. We can then drag this down to apply the formula to the below cells. Later on, we will use the start date and duration columns to create our Gantt charts. I've also already input the progress towards achieving each task. As you can see, the first three tasks are 100% complete, while the fourth one is 70% complete, and so on. We can use this progress column to identify how many days of each task have been completed. This is simply the duration of each task multiplied by the progress. Now that our project table is set up, we can use this information to build our Gantt chart. The first step is to select our start dates, go into the insert tab, and then select a stacked bar chart. Once completed, the bar charts should look like this. Next, we'll add the duration data. To do this, right click the charts, click select data, and then click the add button. The series name is duration, which corresponds to cell E2. The series values are the values in the duration column, which are E3 to E12. Finally, we can click OK. The bar charts will now look like this. Next, we're going to add our project tasks to the y-axis of the chart. To do this, click Edit under Horizontal Axis Labels. And once the axis label opens, select your project tasks and then click OK. The charts will now look something like this. Next, click on any of the blue bars, right click and then select Format Data Series. We're going to remove the fill color and remove the borderline. This will ensure that only the duration of the tasks between the start and end dates is showing. You'll also notice that the tasks in the Gantt charts are in reverse order compared to the tasks in the project table. To overcome this, right click on the tasks, click Format Axis, and then tick Categories in Reverse Order. Therefore, the tasks are now arranged in chronological order, and the axis containing the dates has been moved to the top. Next, let's remove the empty spaces on the left and right sides of the chart. To do this, let's firstly identify which number corresponds to the start and the end date. To do this, right click on the start date and then click Format Cells. We can see that the number that corresponds to the start date is 44,352. We can do the same for the end date. Here the number is 44,393. We will use these two numbers when formatting the date axis. Let's right click the axis and click Format Axis and then let's input the numbers here. So the start date was 44,352 and the end date was 44,393. We can remove the excess white spaces between the bars by right clicking the orange bars and selecting Format Data Series. Let's keep the series overlap as 100% and 
and change the gap width to 0%. Let's also apply a gradient fill. To show the percentage completed as a progress bar, we will apply error bars to the series we have hidden. Click on the hidden series and then select error bars followed by more options. Then select plus for the direction and a no cap end style. For the error amount, select the custom option, which allows you to specify the values that should be included. Select the number of days completed column. Let's now modify the percentages which are showing as lines to make them clearer. We can do this by changing the width until it covers our bars. We can also change the fill colour to green. Now we can visually see how much progress has been made for each task. However, let's also add data labels to show the percentage completion. To do this, click the plus icon and then click data labels and more options. We're going to untick value and then we're going to select the existing data labels, click label options and instead of value, we're going to select value from cells. Here we're going to select the progress percentages and click OK. Now our GAN charts is complete. We have a clear overview of the tasks that must be completed and how much progress we have made so far. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.